everyone, I'm your typical Synergy user and I'm here today with Terry, our, the founder and formulator of Synergy, to find out more about exfoliation. So, first of all Terry, what's the difference between the different types of exfoliation? Well, I mean, you've got basically two types of exfoliation. You've got your physical, which is basically your scrubs. An example of that is our Synergy physical scrub. And you've also got your chemical exfoliation, which is usually a liquid or a serum. An example of that would be Reveal, and that usually contains your alpha and beta hydroxy acids. So your physical physically removes the dead skin, and your chemical dissolves the dead skin. Best way of describing it. Alright, so then BHAs and AHAs, I see these all the time, but I don't quite understand what's the difference. A lot of people get confused. AHAs stand for alpha hydroxy acids and BHAs stand for beta hydroxy acids. And within the alpha hydroxy acids, they generally work on the upper layers of the skin and dissolve the stuff that holds the dead skin together. The examples of that are lactic acid, glycolic acid, malic acid on your ingredient list. Then your beta hydroxy acids or BHAs, that's salicylic acid mainly. And that goes inside the pore and it's like a bottle brush. It basically cleans out the muck and debris in the pore and pulls it out. So if you think of alphas working above, A above and B below, it's the best way of remembering it. All right. Yeah. So for someone that, like myself who has combination skin, what sort of product should I be using? You could use both. For example, if you see you've got a build-up of blackheads every few weeks around the nose and the T-zone, I would definitely be using the Synergy Scrub and just a tiny bit in the shower, massage it gently in and just let the water run clear. You'll find the blackheads are completely gone when you dry off out of the shower. But for a gentle daily exfoliation, if you've got congestion, you could use Synergy Reveal every single day just to avoid the eye area. And also if you've got the beginning of sun damage, and even in the early 20s we can have that, to, re to actually get the skin cells shedding more, more um, rapidly, we'll use a chemical exfoliation, so you use Reveal. And so that will address sun damage, it will also uh, address congestion and possible acne breakouts. Okay. So what about someone who has sensitive skin? Would they do the same or? That's a, that's a difficult area because when you've got sensitive skin, you've got to be very, very careful of exfoliation. I would not recommend anybody with eczema, rosacea, psoriasis, or any inflammatory skin disorder to use a physical scrub or even a chemical scrub. We do have a product now called Lucederm, which is a way of exfoliating without acid and it actually works in an entirely different pathway to AHAs and BHAs. So if you have got sensitive skin, you think you use Lucederm. However, if you have normal or combination skin, you could definitely use um, Reveal or the MediSquirt scrub. Okay. In terms of nasties, mm -hmm. should, are there ingredients that I should be avoiding? I always think, um, in terms of ingredients that are undesirable, I would probably avoid glycolic acid now. Now, glycolic acid was used 20 years ago as an alpha hydroxy acid, but it's actually a very small molecule and it's, it's highly penetrating, so it can cause irritation. So I would prefer to use lactic acid as a preference because it's a larger molecule and it will sit on the surface and do what it's meant to do on the top. The other thing with scrubs, you've got to be very careful about the particles in the scrubs. If they are very rough particles, you can actually tear and damage the skin and we don't want inflammation. So we want very fine, evenly sized particles and we also don't want to rub too hard. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks for that, Terry. Pleasure. Uh, I hope you all learned something about exfoliation. I sure did. Thanks, guys. Beaming Mart.